Today is the day of the badger. What does that mean? I'll tell you what it means to me. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up. celebration um, of what it means to, uh, to to be a badger you know there's there's spirit there's passion um, for me there's there's uh, memories there's professionalism um, I think about uh, you know my, my career as an undergraduate here I did my undergraduate career here I went back and got a graduate degree here and so when I look at um, you know, reflecting on that. Since then, you know, I've, I've come back and I've, I've taught uh, uh, or been a guest speaker at the UW, and I support the athletics. Uh, I try to support the students by going back and teaching uh, when I have the opportunity, keeping in contact with um, uh, instructors that uh, meant a lot to me. And then, of course, the network of former Badgers is, is strong, you know, probably no matter where you went to school. And this, this uh, Day of the Badger, to me, is, uh, is about professionalism and hard work. You know, I learned so much in the classroom and outside the classroom of what it means to be a professional, what it means to be full of integrity, and then what it means to work hard. Nothing was given to me at UW. Uh, I worked very hard for what I was able to achieve there. And it not only, you know, it wasn't just hard work that got me through UW, but it was um, getting through UW that taught me how to, how to work hard in my, in my career, in my life, in my family. Professionalism and hard work are two things that are uh, pretty important to me, and uh, it's actually kind of why I thought I could put this on film today. A thing, couple, couple things in life seem to come together in just the right way. I, uh, as a professional who owns a, a training studio, I'm constantly putting together workouts and workout programs for my clients, and I often test those workouts. I've gotten pretty, pretty good at knowing what's the stimulus that I'm after for my clients and being able to adjust that along the way. Well, today, I had a workout that uh, I had done before. I had done a version of it before. And um, as I was taking one client through it, I kind of did a version of it myself. Thought it was pretty good. It was pretty good. But uh, for one of the next clients, it got to be pretty challenging. Not because she's any less of an athlete, I just know that she's, uh, she's a very hard worker, and so uh, the bar was a little bit higher for her. We ended up adjusting the workout on the fly because it was a little bit more, a little bit more than uh, than I wanted on this particular day, and so in that adjustment came a little bit of a challenge. And so the challenge was this. It was quite simply, Hans, you go try to do 30 cows on this bike today. What do I mean? Here's what we mean. The workout starts like this. It's three rounds. It starts with 10 dumbbell snatches and then 30 cows on the skier. It moves to 20 snatches, 20 cows on the skier, and then 30 snatches and 10 cows on the skier. You take a two minute break, and then you move to kettlebell swing. 30 swings, 10 cals on that bike, 20 swings and 20 cals, and then 10 swings and 
30 cals. That right there, that's the crux of the workout. making sure it's on par with what I want for my clients and making sure that I'm never asking my clients to do something that I'm not willing to do myself. Game time. of the workout 
and uh, this is a client for many, many years. And so uh, this was not about um, anything other than her saying, hey Hans, that sucked. Smile, make sure you can do it too. So, um, the day of the badger. Tradition, spirit, community, education, athletics. Um, for me, the day of the badger is about it's about professionalism. It's about lifting others up, uh, integrity, and uh, some days it's just about good old fashioned hard work. As always. Happy training, and on Wisconsin.